Here's exactly how the SwitchBot behaves. Once it hits the stopper, it backs off just a little. That's actually why I had to remove the flap guards. They made it airtight, but they blocked the motor from finding its stopping point. Hopefully, it still seals well enough without them. Now let's remove the old flap system from the door, install the new one, and put everything together. And that's it. This part is finished, and it works perfectly. I always felt the internal fan just wasn't strong enough to push all the odor out of the printer, so I finally decided to add an inline fan. I got this one on Amazon. It's typically used for indoor gardening. It's actually pretty big. And at first I thought it only worked on the highest setting, which I didn't love. But turns out it does start on low speed too, so we're good. <laughs> 